I welcome you all, my dear students. Today we are going to study about chapter number twelve, triangles. In the very first exercise in question number one, you can see that the question is asking you name the sides and as well as angles of triangle PQR. So this is when we are talking about the sides. This is one of the side PQ. This is second side QR, and this is the third side PR. So these are the three sides of the given triangle. Now they are asking also about the angles. So we'll write down for the angles. Also, we are having three types of angles. Three angles we are having in this. As that you can say that angle QPR. You can say QR, and you can say that angle PRQ. Going down to the next question, the question is question number two. It is asking name the points lying the exterior. Exterior means outside. So exterior points will be. We can see that outside we are having P, Q, and L. So we write down P, Q, and L. And as well as interior also. So we need to tell about the interior points also. Interior points are. You can see R, S, and T. So R, S, and T are the interior points. Now coming down to the next question, question number three, it is saying you name the exterior angles of the given triangle. Exterior means outside. So there are three outside. This is the first one. You can name it as angle N, B, C. Yes, C, B, N. Both are correct. This is another angle which can be said as angle A C L. This is the third exterior angle which can be said as angle C A L. So these are the required three exterior angles of the given triangle. Now name any three triangles you see in the figure. There are many triangles in this figure, but you need to tell about any three name of any three triangles. So first I'm telling you triangle A B D. This triangle ABD. So triangle ABD is one of the triangle. Next, second type, second triangle AOB. You can say this AOB part also. This is also a triangle. So triangle AOB. Any three they are asking, so you can name any of the three. Next is COD. We can say this COD. This is also a triangle. So we can say that and triangle COD. You can name any of the three. It's your choice. Going down to the next question, number five. Uh, mention the side which is opposite to angle A, angle B, and angle C in triangle ABC. So for that, first we need to draw a triangle ABC. Suppose if this is a triangle ABC. Question number five A, B, C opposite to angle A. The side opposite to angle A is side opposite to angle A. You can see that that is BC. Where see in the similar manner, side opposite to angle B. So angle A ka ho gaya. Now for angle B, the side opposite to angle B is AC. Next, they are asking what is the side opposite to angle C? The side opposite to angle C is AB, this one. Now in question number six, it is asking you name the three exterior angle of triangle PQR. So this is one of the exterior angle and that is angle NPQ. This is the second exterior angle, which is angle LQR or angle RQL. This is the third exterior angle, which you can say that angle PMR. So these are the required three exterior angle of the given triangle. Next question number seven, it is uh, already given to us. Two angle of a triangle is given to us. It is asking to find the third angle. Okay, one is 70, the second one is 30. So let the third angle be X. Now we know that 
by angle sum property of a triangle sum of all the angle of a triangle is 180 degree so first angle is 70 second angle is 30 third angle we don't know that is x and all should be equal to 180 70 plus 30 is 100 and plus 100 will go that side it will become minus 100 so 180 minus 100 is 80 so the third angle is 80 degree now moving down to question number eight in a triangle abc angle a is given angle b is given we need to find the exterior angle which is at c so for this first we'll draw the figure So you can see this figure, angle A is 80 degree, angle B is 50 degree. Exterior angle towards C, you can see the exterior angle C is equal to exterior angle. And angle A C D is equal to interior angle A plus interior angle B. Why? This is a property that exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its to interior opposite angles. Now after this angle ACD will be equals to interior angle A is 80 plus interior angle B is 50. 80 plus 50 is 130 degree. So this is how question number eight we are going to do. Now with the same theorem, question nine is also going to be uh, the same as you can say that exterior angle is 130 degree, it is already given to us. Interior angle is 70 degree. They are asking you find the remaining angle of triangle ABC. So angle B to nickel jagger exterior angle property. Say how? I'm going to show you that exterior. Suppose it is not given. If this is D, the exterior angle ACD is equal to interior angle A plus interior angle B. Again, the property will be same. Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its two interior opposite angles. So angle ACD will be equal to now interior angle A is that angle ACD is already given to us. That exterior angle is 130 degree and interior angle A is 70. Interior angle B, we don't know. So plus 70 will go that side, it will become minus 70. That will be interior angle B. So how much it will be? 60 degree. So interior angle B is 60 degree. Now similarly, by some angle property, we can get the value of angle C. That is by ASP of a triangle. Angle A. Interior angle A plus interior angle B plus interior angle C should be 180 degree. Angle A, it is 70. Angle B, we have taken it out as 60 plus angle C is 180. 70 plus 60 is 130 plus angle C is 180. So angle interior angle C will be 180 minus 130. That is 50 degree. So in this way, we have calculated all the remaining angle of triangle A, B, C. Now question number 10, name the interior angle opposite in the table. Like for exterior angle P, the interior angles are angle R and angle Q. Okay, so this is already, it was given to us. Moving down to the next part. For angle exterior angle Q, the interior angle will be, interior opposite angle will be angle R and as well as this angle P. Now we need to tell about exterior angle R. This is exterior angle R. For this exterior angle R, the interior opposite angle are angle P and angle Q. Okay. Now moving down to the next uh, question number 11. Fill in the blanks. Angle A is given, angle B is given. 90 plus 60, that is 150. And we know that in a triangle sum of all the angles should be 180. So if two angle sum is 180, what should be the third angle? The third angle should be 30 degree. Now they are asking about exterior angle A. Exterior angle A will be sum of its other two interior opposite angle, that is interior angle B plus interior angle C. 
So interior by exterior angle property. So exterior interior angle B is 90 and interior angle C is 30. 90 plus 30 is 120. So this will become 120 degree. Next, coming down to the next, that is angle P value is 50, angle Q value is 70. So 50 plus 70 is 120 degree. So out of one, 180, sum of two is 120. So what should be the third angle? The third angle will be 60 degree. Now, similarly, exterior angle Q will be equal to sum of its other two interior opposite angle, that is P plus R. The value of interior angle P is 50. The value of interior angle R is 60. 60 plus 50 is 110. This will be 110. Moving down to the next part. Again, angle L is 40. Angle M is 40. So we know that 40 plus 40 is 80. Sum of two angle is 80. And the total three angles should be 180. So by this way, we will get the third angle that is 100 degree. Now exterior angle L will be sum of its other two interior opposite angle that is interior angle M plus interior angle N. So M is 40, N is 100. 100 plus 40 is 140 degree. So that will be equals to 140 degree. Now we will do question number 13. Question number 13 is saying that is it possible for a triangle with this sides the very first side. The condition is like that in any ways if sum of two sides is greater than the third side then triangle is possible. So how we will check it? So case 1, case 2 and case 3. The third case. The first case 5 plus 6, whether some of these two sides is greater than the third side, yes. 6 plus 5 is 11, it is greater than 7. Then sum of 6 plus 7, is it greater than 5? Yes, 13 is greater than 5. Last but not the least, 5 plus 7, is it greater than 6? Yes, 12 is greater than 6. So in this case, we can see that sum of, in any way, sum of two sides is greater than the third side. So we can say that triangle is possible. Triangle is possible. Similarly, we can check the other two waves. How? In number B, we can see that sum of two sides, five plus three, eight, and eight is equals to eight, as sum of two sides is not greater than the third side. So directly, you can say that hence triangle is not possible in this case. Now, when we are doing the C1, in this also, we can see that when we are doing the sum of two sides, we can see that 5 plus 4, 9, and sum of two sides is less than the third side, which is not possible. So hence, in this case also, triangle is not possible. Moving down to the next part, option number D. Option number D, we will see whether the sum of all, sum of any two sides is greater than the third side is or not. First, if we will take 6 plus 10, that is 16. And 16 is greater than 12. Suppose the next two we are taking 10 plus 12. That is 22, which is greater than 6. Suppose the first and last we are taking 6 plus 12. And 18 is greater than 10. In all the case, sum of two sides is greater than the third side. So hence, in this case, triangle is possible. Moving down to the next part, the last E part. In the E part, again, we will see, we can see that if you are doing the sum of two sides, like six and five, if we take this two, so six plus five and the third side is 11. And we can see that six plus five is 11. Sum of two sides cannot be equal to the third side. It should be greater than the third side. So hence in this case also, triangle is not possible. Now moving down to the next part. Question number 14, write true or false you know that the sum of three angles should be 180 degree. So whether they are saying the three angles of a triangle, can it be 90, 60 and 30? So we can see that nine plus six, 15 plus three, 18. So it is exactly equal to 180 degrees. So the answer is true. Yes, it can be. The three angles of a triangle, can it be 110, 40 and 40? We can see that it is 190 and it is not equals to 180. So hence the answer is false. 
Next, the three side of a triangle, can it be? As we can see that if we take eight and nine, that is eight plus nine is 17 is equal to 17. It means sum of two side in this case is not greater than the third side. So triangle is not possible and the answer is false. The three side of a triangle, can it be? Suppose if we take 15 plus eight, 15 plus eight. So how much it will be? 23 and 23 is greater than 10. So in this case, the sum of two sides is getting greater than the third side. Or else, suppose if we take eight and 10, eight and 10 is 18 and 18 is also greater than 15. In this case also, we are getting sum of two sides greater than the third side. In last way, that is 15 and 10. 15 and 10 is 25 and that is also greater than eight. So in this case also, the sum of two sides is greater than the third side. So hence in all, in any way, we are getting sum of two side is greater than third side so triangle is possible and the answer is true.